Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike Romali here with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion for August 14th, 2022, around 11.50 a.m. Eastern Time. We don't have a lot to talk about today, but we will talk about Invest Area 98L now moving into Texas, and we will be taking a look at a new tropical system that could be forming in the Atlantic Basin over the next week or so. So it's going to jump straight into everything. Taking a wide look across the tropical Atlantic this afternoon, we noticed that it is pretty quiet across the basin overall. We do have Invest Area 98L now moving into Texas. It has made landfall, and uh, this actually had it probably have at least another 12 hours over water. This would have become a tropical depression or a storm, and uh, could have even become a hurricane if this had more uh, of a day uh, over water or so. And then we'll be watching these tropical waves in the Atlantic Basin in the main development region. No development of these is expected, but this is kind of the time where we start to look at the Cabo Verde season for some potential development. Again, Invest Area 98L, the rainfall, this uh, forecast was made yesterday before landfall, but the forecast still stands again over the next seven days. Again, the general area of concern will be from about McAllen, Corpus Christi, and Brownsville, a little bit to the south and west of there. Again, even places like Houston could still see an additional one and a half to two inches of rainfall, especially from uh, the outer bands of this and some tornadoes are, would be also possible in some of those outer rain bands but so far no mention of that from the storm prediction center but either way it will be a rainy uh, weekend surely towards the end of the weekend here and uh, into Monday and per perhaps even Tuesday will be pretty rainy as well so just kind of something to kind of keep in mind from there but otherwise this is now moving inland and not much else to talk about from there. Now, moving on to the remainder of the forecast for the Atlantic Basin, we have a couple of things that are starting to take place across the MDR and the deep tropics as a whole. So this is the 060 run here, valid 480 on this morning. We'll kind of go out further in time. We notice that at least in the GFS forecast, there isn't really much that actually happens here, but there is this little system that actually does try to develop here uh, within the next couple of days, within the next about uh, 72 hours or so off the coast here of the northeast U.S. Not really sure this is exactly a tropical system. This could, however, be somewhat of a hybrid subtropical system. So we'll kind of keep our eyes on that. But so far, there has been no mention from the National Hurricane Center. But either way, this is an area of low pressure that could still bring some heavy winds and um, gusty winds and heavy rainfall to portions of Newfoundland, Canada, and uh, maybe even potentially Maine as well. We'll kind of have to see how that plays out, but this will be in some pretty cool water, so not really expecting anything significant from there in terms of tropical formation. And then the rest of the main development region looks pretty quiet, at least on the GFS forecast, all the way throughout August 30th, but we have to kind of look at some things that are maybe starting to happen. So so look at the GFS ensembles. This is the uh, zero Z runs here from, this is the August 13th. Uh, so this was initialized at uh, 8 p.m. on the 12th of August, so about two days ago. And uh, this kind of gives us our very long range forecast and that's why we're using this. But bottom line is we actually look uh, towards what could be happening maybe within a couple of days, within a week or so down there across the Caribbean. There is actually some increased area of low pressure down here, and this actually isn't necessarily the GFS bias playing into effect here. If we actually look at the upper level wind environment for this particular time, it's actually quite favorable, especially uh, near Jamaica and portions of uh, Cancun and Belize. There actually is a little bit of an upper level anti-cyclone trying to take place out here, ventilating the air causing convection at the surface and high pressure aloft. So it's actually very favorable for tropical cyclone formation. And uh, it just doesn't really last long. That's the problem here. This doesn't really last long before we start to return to more of an unfavorable state uh, across the deep tropics. So there is at least somewhat of a potential. You can kind of see it there, maybe somewhat of a potential within the next couple of days to the next week or so. Uh, but overall, if we actually look at how the GFS kind of forecast pans out for at least a couple of weeks here, this is by September 7th across the deep tropics. And we actually noticed that on this particular run of the GFS, the atmosphere is pretty favorable for development. We noticed the belt of westerly winds is pretty confined to the subtropic region, which actually allows for anomalous easterly winds out here in the main development region promoting tropical formation 
Now, we will have to watch the Caribbean because uh, there is kind of this branch of the tropical upper tropospheric trough that dips down into the Caribbean. So, again, it kind of remains to be seen what's going to happen. And the Gulf of Mexico, too, again, doesn't look too favorable for development, at least for now. But we'll kind of see how that plays out. Again, kind of looking at the European ensemble forecast, and we noticed that, again, uh, this is the 0 z run from last night. We noticed that the European certainly has an increased amount of ensemble members supporting tropical formation through about the 29th of August. So this doesn't go out quite as far as the GFS ensembles do, but this kind of gives the idea that some tropical formation is coming down the pipeline, and I certainly would believe that. Now, I did get a question yesterday. Is it possible that we go August without having a hurricane? That is absolutely possible. Um, but again, maybe the last couple of days, the 28th through about the 31st, there could be a storm that tries to form too early to say how strong that's going to be. And if we actually look at that upper level wind environment at this time, pretty favorable for most of the Eastern Atlantic, but the problem is going to be this belt of westerly winds here in this trough because this is cutting in pretty close to the islands. So your belt of favorability here would be in kind of the far southern areas, kind of where we saw Bonnie at. But again, we'll have to kind of watch how this plays out with time. So far, uh, we haven't seen significant indications of anything major coming, but uh, the GFS ensembles for sure do want to kind of depict that towards the end here, we can kind of see how things start to pan out. We get multiple storms forming. And again, this is the very long range out to the 17th of September, but you kind of get the idea, right? So with that being said, I do hope you have a great rest of your afternoon and evening. There will be no video tomorrow due to personal reasons, but I will be back on Tuesday with another video. So have a good rest of your day, afternoon, and evening. Of course, I am Mike Romali, and I'll talk to you guys again some more on Tuesday.